what we do is we we've gone. There is a disturbing trend in recent Halloween. Is this like a 21st century thing? Because I don't remember this when I was a kid. When I was a kid, Halloween costumes. Do you remember that? Uh, th those those ones you got from like Kmart that was like you know a mask and a vinyl suit. You remember those? Yeah, those plastic. My mom wouldn't let me wear the plastic masks. She was afraid they were like a suffocate. My mom was really paranoid about suffocation and choking. So uh, we weren't allowed to wear the vinyl masks unless she cut the bottom out of them. I remember because all those masks had that little little slit. They had a little tiny mouth hole. Yeah, like, I, I think she was right. Like, I don't think she was paranoid there because they had two little holes and a little tiny mouth hole so she would be like fuck that and she just cut the whole mouth out and you were always tempted to just stick your tongue in it and it would get cut on the plastic yeah she also cut bigger eye holes because that the plastic would like right here would scratch you yeah yeah so if we ever wore those masks my mom did surgery on them first but usually she would have us do costumes that didn't require those because she was not a big fan of them so yeah when we were it was different when we were uh yeah. doing I'm echoing. I can hear me. Ah, it's not me. Ah, yeah, it's coming from your speakers. Oh, picking up on your microphone. Okay, now it's better. Okay. Okay. Live. Now, when we were kids, it was it was a different kind of thing. You know, even when yeah, like when I was in high school, like I was a '50s Bobby Soxer one year. Right. You know. You know, like. You know, but as it, the good old days when people wore clothes. But as time's gone on, Halloween, at least for women, and it's it's I don't know if it's by choice or by encouragement, awful encouragement, has evolved into this thing where they're encouraged to wear more and more awful, more and more over sexualized things. And then there's nothing wrong with sexy, but. The thing is, the question of what is sexy is also gotten a little weird. And e girl said it best. Halloween is the one day a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and nobody can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie in some form of animal ears. I'm a mouse. Can't you tell? I'm a mouse. Duh. But it's not mean girls fault. They just summed up the problem really excellently. It was going on before that happened. Sexy Big Bird came before mean girls. Yeah, Tina Fey is not to blame here. No, Tina Fey is not to blame. Um, so what's what's um this trend occurred where women are and there can be sexy costumes, but what the what really gets weird is this idea of what is sexy and yeah. some things that are not. So we have a look at at our nice little wonderful hook away special. We look at some of the best of the worst. And first off, I guess this is an honorable mention. It's not just not just women, also guys too. This uh, Tara, in honor of a story we had last week, Tara sent me this one. Let's let's have a look here. This is uh, a sexy ball pit to be, to be dressed as as a ball pit. We're all in the balls. All in the balls brings a whole new meaning. Go away, story. We don't need you anymore. There we go. Um. All right, so this the first one we're looking at is the inevitable one. This one, this one is is a, is a gimme. This is a no brainer. This, of course, was going to fucking happen. I still don't find what happened sexy. I find it the entire the, everything that occurred in this entire debacle the opposite of sexy. But it became well, it became this. And let me send it over. To you. You, you're going to know exactly what this is. Topical costumes. The twerking teddy adult women's costume. Yeah. Twerk yeah. it out the best you can on Halloween when you decide to shock everyone with this twerking teddy adult women's costume. And by the way, you will shock no one because 16 other bitches will be in the same outfit. Yeah. And they will all be freezing their ass off, just like you are. Unless you get a flesh-colored Zentai suit to go under it. And but you will shock no one. Yeah, this this is just it. And of course, it's got the the Alan Thick. Hey, look, Robin, I'm Robin Thick. Robin Thick, whatever. 
I don't. I Although that would be better. That would be the shocking version is if you wear this and just have some dude with big hair and a sweater vest grinding on you. That would be really funny. What was that? I still don't understand. Alan Bick. I still don't understand what this whole Beetlejuice thing was all about either. That, because Rob Thick wore the black and white striped suit. Yeah, I don't understand why he would do that. Well, what the fuck was oh, the point of that? Okay, I thought you didn't get the joke. Well, I that what was the come out dressed like Beetlejuice? Was that the joke? No, I think he just thought that was a cool looking suit. Wow, he what? really is an idiot. Well, you know, his career is going through some growing pains. <laughs> so she worn that right in. Next up, we, we had this this thing where something should not be considered sexy. I don't understand why these are these are considered sexy things. These are advertised in a sexy way, but these are the costumes, and I don't get it. There are things you just shouldn't want to fuck. You know? <laughs> There are there things you should now, not. Nash, we have to respect people's life choices. Okay, if your lifestyle choice involves fucking pizza. Oh, come on. You need to read. The men in America would fuck pizza. I would. No, I would not fuck a pizza. Half the men in America, if they could, like, fuck pizza. And then eat it. And, and he, here's the else. we're not the first people going to scratch and then realizing I'm covered in black shit and not doing it. We're not the first people to point out how stupid this is. Um, as the, the, the description says, as seen on Ellen, the Today Show and the Daily Show, they're proud of this shit. They're proud. Well, yeah. BuzzFeed actually interviewed the guys at Yandy.com and they like they go out of their way every Halloween to just think up the stupidest shit they possibly can. Like they said, they basically said that they're like, we try to think of what's the dumbest shit we can possibly get someone to be for Halloween and be sexy. They said the really, the biggest flop has been the sexy corn so far, but they're really just Halloween trolls. The guys that run this site and they're pretty good at it. I hate them. Sexy and pizza. Look at the price on this thing. I know that's seventy dollars. And I want to point out the these it, uh, the page also says it is a limited edition, which means the part is it doesn't even really look like a like good slice of pizza. No, it looks it's like what is it's got olives? Is that, are those olives or horseshoes? I can't tell. Like it looks like some sad frozen DiGiorno shit. Yeah. Doesn't look like pizza you'd really want much of anything to do with. Much less fuck. Why would you want to fuck a pizza? Well, you know, hot, slippery cheese. No, scalding, painful cheese. Cheese does not, hot cheese does not go on your dick. At no point is that a good thing. You know, everybody got their something. Another problem with these sexy costumes is they don't quite get it. And they try to to do to skirt the copyright as much as they can. So this one. This is one of those ones that you, I would just be embarrassed, not just because of the costume, but just be embarrassed, be like, you're like, this is like, OK, apparently this is Costco Spider Girl. Girl spider costume. And what makes this even better is this one has an animated GIF. Oh, because apparently this is. Under the heading of twerk costumes, there's an entire section this year. Of twerk costumes. There's a section of twerk costumes. Twerk, co yeah. Look at the look at the categories. There is a twerk costumes category. What does that even mean? I I I don't I don't know I I don't. Ah. 
What is a twerk costume? Evil, I think. Like, is that all the costumes that your ass hangs out of specifically? Apparently. No, I would, you know what? This, if you're trying to entice, okay, apparently at this point, you may be interested in who is attempting to sleep with you when you wear this type, this type of costume. Sure. But, okay, if you're going to go out in this costume because you are actually interested in Spider-Man and Spider-Girl, there is a Spider-Girl, and she's awesome, then I would expect you to wear something that would be a little more, you know, accurate. It can still be sexy, but a little more accurate. This is like, I don't... This, accurate? These people aren't going for accuracy. No, okay? no. There are sexy Ninja Turtle costumes out there. Yeah. These people are not interested in accuracy at all. They are interested in... Hitting a pop culture vein and looking like a Playboy bunny. Well, you're this is like getting free drinks. This is like not only is it a bad costume, it's a dumb costume. You're just failing on two points at the same time. That jiggling ass just back and I mean, forth, you know, but OK, but here's the thing. If you're like, clearly you're not wearing this to Comic-Con. So if you're just out on Halloween wearing this and if you're in New England, you're freezing. So your nipples are cutting glass and you're twerking involuntarily because you're shivering from the cold. Pretty much nobody's going to call you on it. They're just going to buy you drinks. Like comic book guy from The Simpsons isn't even going to be like, you know, that's really inaccurate. He's going to be like, hey, baby, you're hot. Let's do this thing. Yeah. We have more food. This is now this one I don't even understand. Okay. It's how is this okay? How is this Twizzlers? What about this makes this cause it's got rope on it? Or is is that that Well, I mean it has the Twizzlers logo, I guess. And some vaguely Twizzler esque looking rope. Yeah, is that. That this. That's that's the and it, for fifty dollars, I think you could give more of a crap. That's the horrible thing about these is the fucking price. Like for fifty dollars, I think you could give more of a shit than this. You know, I want to be Twizzlers for Halloween. And who said, who in the history of the world has ever said, <laughs> I want to be Twizzlers. Twizzlers for Halloween? Like, who in the history of the world has ever said, I want to be an ear of corn for Halloween, but like sexy corn. I want to be, they have a slice of lime. I want to be a slice of lime like you would get in a mojito, but like a sexy lime. No one is saying these things. I just, it's, what it, it's... It's fulfilling a need that does not exist. I don't even understand this costume, though. Because it doesn't look like a bag. It doesn't really look like Twizzlers. It just has, like, Twizzlers logo on it. And did they pay for the rights to that? I don't know. But they have Jolly Rancher. The Jolly Rancher one's worse. Cause that's just a frilly ass dress with the words Jolly Rancher on it. Not even trying. This next one is, I think this is meant to be sexy. I don't know how this thing is. The only word I can think of when I see this aside from, Oh God is confused. This, I just, this is supposedly the deluxe brown bear costume. I don't know what the hell this is. Why is it covered in little baby bears? I don't know. I don't think this. It doesn't even. What is it? And why are the bear little baby bears all in bunny outfits? What the hell is going on? All the. Yes. All the boobs, all the boob bears. And not to Our mention just, funny outfits. She's got these horrible Uggs with bear stapled to them. But she has 
bunny bears all over her boobs. How, what is, this is just confusion. Maybe this would be sexy, but I would be sitting there for a few minutes going, what is she trying to be? I don't really know what it's supposed to be. What exactly. is, and I'd be like, do you know what the hell that cost you? What the fuck is that? <laughs> She's fuzzy things. I, it, it's... It's a t okay. Womble says, "Oh shit! It's a titty bear." She's fuzzy. It's thing. a titty bear. Titty bears ah. bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the titty bear. Kind of works. I'm just saying. You can speculate on your own what the titty berry juice that makes them bounce is. Now, it's not just women with this. It's it's guys. And, you know, guys want to go out and be attractive and, and you know, they, they, they want to express. OK, fine. But if your end result is attempting sexy. They're so mad at me for doing that to the gummy bear theme. Of course they are. And, and bless their hearts. You know, guys. <sighs> If your goal is to go out and attempt to find some sort of mate, then this this is not the way you go about it. The pussy magnet. Do you know what this co what this costume here says? Do you, do you know what this costume is here says? Do not let me get my penis anywhere near you. <laughs> OK, if, keep a 20 yard radius from my dick at all times. That's what this costume says. This costume says, like, comes with a free side of herpes. It's not even a costume. It's just a thing that goes around your neck. That's so lazy. No shit. No effort. This is you know what this is. Do you remember uh, uh, Jeff from Community? I've seen like two episodes of Community ever. See, I'm watching Supernatural. You need to watch some of my shit, too. Jeff, Jeff used to have this thing where he would wear a costume that would enable him to look like, you know, he wasn't wearing a costume. Like he, he wore this really expensive suit and carried a soccer ball and said he was Jeff Beckham. David Beckham? David Beckham, yes. Words speak good. Ah. It'd be funnier if he said he was like, David's younger brother, Jeff, or something. Yeah, th this is this is a this is a Jeff Winger costume here. This is a Jeff Winger costume. here. Also, this is a douchebag costume, because really, yes. This the only thing that this magnet is going to attract is a massive douche quake. And perhaps a few kicks to the balls in hooker ween stilettos. We have another one that that comes from the why would anyone ever want to think of this in terms of sex? I. Not only that, it's bad, it's badly done. The adult Robo Babe Robocop costume. Note the price was seventy dollars, now twenty. Well, that's a bargain. Yeah. Value. Do you remember RoboCop? You know what I'm about to say. You've never seen RoboCop. I saw the trailer for the new one. Not sure it looked too impressive. It looked when, when yeah, the, people in the channel are pointing out who wants to fuck. Ro OK, I'll I buy that for a dollar. You win. That that was funny. But, you know, it it. Who saw Peter Weller with the helmet off and that fucking screwed up bald head welded to the metal bit? Yeah, that but, I remember. Like, they just kind of fused his face onto a robot head and it was really weird looking. It kind of looked like the Borg Queen, only not who saw it, sexy. Yeah, who saw that and said, I want to stick my penis in that thing? Who saw it who did that? Japan. Probably, yeah. It just it. This is not sexy. 
It kind of looks like Lady Gaga. Yeah, a little bit. You don't want to, I, I kind of expect her to wear this in her next video. I don't as I don't associate RoboCop with sexy. And trying to blend those two together is not going to, re to result in the desired effect. You're just going to confuse some poor bastard's penis is what you're going to do. Just, it's, it's a therapy cause. Uh, speaking of causing therapy, our next one. This one, not, this one ruins childhoods. I, I, that, that's something about these costumes. We saw the sexy Big Bird. We saw the sexy Bird and Ernie. We saw the sexy Cookie Monster. This shit just ruining childhoods. Because you'd be like, I, I suddenly want to have sex with Cookie Monster. What's wrong with me? You don't want to deal with that shit. This one make. I think this one is is the winner for this year in, in that category. Let me uh, let me send you this one. Um. I, I, I have a really terrible C is for joke in my head that I'm not going to. <laughs> it's over the line. And Sesame Street is a treasure part of my childhood. And I'm I'm not I'm not going to do it. This one. Robble. Fucking. Oh, no. Robble. Oh, no. Hamburger thief costume. $50. I'll glad you pay, gladly pay you tomorrow for a Hamburglar costume today. That's the wrong Hamburger person I know. Who in the name of all that is fucking holy wanted to have sex with the Hamburglar? Have you seen that son of a bitch? His head was like deformed and shit. Well, his head was a burger. No, no, his oh, head. No, that's Mayor McCheese. That's Mayor I'm McCheese. thinking of Mayor McCheese. No, Hamburger's he head was just head. Hamburger's head was just squished and and he always and he had, had a, a big plastic smile. Ah, on Rabble, Rabble, Who the fuck wanted to fuck that? You show me the man who wanted to fuck the Hamburger, and I will show you how well versed I am with handguns. Well, we have. Seen people sticking McDonald's food down their pants. Maybe that's the core Freudian issue that they're trying to address. But the idea that a woman would look at this costume and go, you know what? Perfect. That's what we're doing. I'm be hot as hell in this. No, you won't. And why hamburger thief? Like, why couldn't you just lose the stupid hat? And cape and make it just a sexy. And come to think of it, why is the Hamburglar dressed like he's already in jail? I guess he's an escaped Hamburglar. Oh, that's the the bit. He's he's yeah. Don't you think the first thing you would do would be to drop your prison duds so you can steal hamburgers incognito? Oh, in the in the channel, it goes. Why not Birdie? No, not Birdie the early bird. Leave her alone. Because that's just even creepier. I want to see sexy grimace or sexy fry guys. Well, we're getting sexy fry guy, I guess, would just be like a brightly colored wig and pretty much nothing else. We're getting to the end here. And this is this one is for this. This is some confused sexuality shit on this next one. I will tell you. Are you familiar? You're familiar with Kiss. You know who Kiss is, right? Yes, I'm familiar with Kiss. 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 A and great group costume I saw was French Kiss. They had their faces all done up and they were in striped shirts and berets. That's clever. And they all had like little baguettes. This, really that. this on the other <laughs> hand, is not so clever so much as terrifying. Hey guys, you ever wanted to fuck Gene Simmons? Now's your chance. Well, to be fair, he does have that really long tongue. <laughs> Look, kids aren't even sexy for real. They're four of the ugliest dudes on the planet. The great jackalope. That's why they painted their faces. The great jackalope says, okay, now my dick has an innie. <laughs> that 
is just that is not attractive. I mean, look at this shit. Look, 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 look up close there. That that is not attractive. That is just scary. That is terrifying. It is, it is a little scary. Officially licensed. They signed off on. I mean, does that surprise anybody? Kiss will sign off on pretty much anything if someone hands them five dollars. Kiss fought Doctor Doom once. <laughs> Comic book. Kiss fought Doctor Doom. But this just. Do they have all of them? No, I guess just the sexy kiss demon. I don't see yes, the Justine kitty. Justine Simmons. There's no sexy star child. No. That has the more woman friendly face paint. This is just, this, it doesn't look right. It does, who said that? Count of Low. It does look like a Klingon woman. <laughs> Kapla, <laughs> motherfucker! Kapla! It does look like a Klingon woman. I don't think that's what they were going for, but that's kind of what they got. A Klingon woman mine? I don't know. Our last one tonight comes from a surprising place. This actually comes from Amazon.com. Ooh. I don't know if this is supposed to be sexy or funny, but I do know it's what it ends up being is fucking terrifying. If you saw this in a dark alley, you would be compelled to either run screaming, leaving a yellow trail in your wake, or to thr thrust, thrust yourself upon it and immediately beat it to death for the salvation of all mankind. <laughs> okay? Okay. And I don't think that's too much of a setup here because I'm, I have just here. Woman's inflatable doll costume. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Inflate here. First of all, that might actually be a feminist of all these costumes that I've seen. I look at this and I want to die. <laughs> I look at this thing and I I want I, I want my life to end. Now, because I'm it's like, really scary. And also nothing says, yes, please, men view me as a soulless sex object, like actually going out <laughs> dressed like a soulless sex object. I mean, maybe that's the message you're trying to send. I don't know. It's the mask that makes it truly horrific. Yeah, yeah. But the mouth is cut out. You can breathe. That's important. Yeah, you can also put just that gaping, ah, uh, God, this. And do you have to walk around with your mouth open like that all night? Oh, God. Because otherwise it kind of doesn't work. It really is quite scary. That's, that's, this is probably, I think this is probably the scariest costume of the year. It wasn't I mean, intended like, to be. The dead soul is that. Yeah, th this actual is, actual blow up sex dolls don't have eyes that terrifying. No, this 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 to me is just this. Someone, or I hope anyone who's watching who wants to make a new indie low budget horror film, Attack of the Sex Doll Woman. You know. It, it, do you know the urban legend about the Jesus with the sex dolls? There's an old urban legend. I don't think it's actually true, but uh, I think it's on Snopes that the, the, they were they were um, people driving on the highway, very religious people, and there is a guy on the same highway in a pickup truck on his way to a Halloween party, and he was dressed as Jesus, and he. Uh, in the bed of his truck had, for, for whatever reason, he was asked to bring to this party a whole bunch of inflatable sex dolls that he was transporting already inflated in the bed of his truck with like a tarp over it. The tarp came free and the sex dolls all blew away 
And according to the story, the woman in the other car like was jumping out of the moving car because she thought that it was the rapture because uh. Jesus got out of the car to try and retrieve them all. And so she thought it was the rapture. It's, you know, that's a nice Halloween story for all you guys. How to fake the rapture for the religious right. Now, people at home are, are, are just like, why do I still have the big picture up? Because I, it is Halloween and I do want to scare the shit out of you. Oh, that's going to be up for the rest of the night. You're not going to sleep tonight, kids, because it's watching you. Because every time you close your eyes, you'll see those eyes staring at you and that ever open mouth. Uh, okay, D.A. Scott Jr., that costume can blow me. <laughs> it can, in fact. And yes, I know that story is false. I said it was an urban legend. I know it's not true, but it's a funny story. <sighs> so here you are. Never sleep again. Happy Halloween. That, that would be a really good horror movie, though, like Revenge of the Sex Dolls. Like, imagine like a horror movie where they all like instead of zombies crawling out of the grave where like all the sex dolls like reinflate themselves. If, you, if someone writes that, we, we want a credit. We want a percentage of the uh, of the tank come okay. after you for all the really weird things you've done to them, like the real dolls all broken and twisted and sticky. <sighs> That would be a great horror movie. That would be a, we we need did, to make that happen. That'd be did you great. ever see that picture on BuzzFeed where the guy took the skin off the real doll face? No. I imagine it looks like a Terminator. I'm going to find it. <laughs> we need to make that movie. I'm going to find it. Hold on. I'm, 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 hold on. I'm going to find it. Revenge of the Sex Dolls. So yeah, you've you've seen those those real doll. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where's the picture? Where is it? I've got to find the damn thing. Ah, uh, damn it! Oh wait, no, I know where I I know where it is. It's on my uh, I put it on my Tumblr because I'm awful like that. Everybody at home is like, oh, what's happening? You're going to see soon enough. Uh, work. Work, you bastard. Work. Work. Why is it when you're in a hurry, the computer always wants to be a, a son of a bitch? It knows. It knows. Also, it's haunting. You know what? I did bring a, I did bring something special for Halloween because this is a hippo in a monkey costume. No, that's a hippo with a monkey up its butt. I'm a hippo. I'm a hippo. Oh, wait. Trick or treat. I'm a monkey. I'm a monkey. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. I don't actually have any feet. Because I'm a hippo. Where is it? Yes. Yeah. He, yeah. Here, here, here it goes. Um, this is from Buzzfeed. I'm gonna put it on the screen here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That that's, that's what a real doll looks like. I'll give you the link. It's, it's, it's number seven on the list here. I lose more hours of my day to Buzzfeed these days. That's what a real doll looks like with the skin taken off the face. Now I have Billy Joel's Billy, not Billy Idol's eyes without a face stuck in my head. <laughs> Sleep well, children. That's what that looks like. Uh, it kind of has a Salvador Dali-esque quality to it. <laughs> Salvador Dali. Ah, ah. 